Triumph is really going all out this year with its brand new Speed Triple 1200, throwing everything they've got at it. More power, less weight, and um, unfortunately, also pricier. Welcome back to Long Way Home everyone, the place where getting your motorcycle news is easier than uh, Kawasaki revamping the KLR, but not by much. The last time their flagship naked bike, the Speed Triple 1200 was updated, wasn't really that long ago, 2018 actually, but Triumph knew it could do a lot better, so they redesigned this bike from the ground up. Everything on it is brand new and at least on paper, they seem to have done a great job. Stick around while we see what's what. Now, if you've been following this channel for a while, you know that these very fast and scary, somewhat uncomfortable sport bikes aren't really my cup of tea. I'm more into the dual sport scene, but reading the press release of the new Speed Triple, I was really impressed by the amount of changes, the actual work that Triumph put into this new bike, keeping in mind that it wasn't updated that long ago, and also that I don't really think the segment of pricey, sporty bikes is that large. By the time you actually afford a fast, expensive sports bike, I don't think you'll be too keen to sit like this for a, a couple of hours. Anyway, starting off with the engine, a brand new 1160cc triple. It now puts out 180 horsepower compared to the 150 on the outgoing model. Torque numbers have also been improved, 125 Newton meters or 92 pound feet with the extra good news that a lot of it is available anywhere from 6,500 RPM. The other other good news is that the engine is lighter by 7 kilograms or 15 pounds, making the entire bike lighter by a whole 10 kilograms or 22 pounds. So 30 more horsepower, more torque and a lighter bike. Triumph describes this engine as the most powerful and torque rich speed triple engine ever. And with a 26% increase in power to weight ratio, in real world tests, this means the new speed triple is now almost 4 seconds quicker from 0 to 140 miles or 225 kilometers per hour than the outgoing model. By the way, these seem like perfectly normal tests when buying this sort of bike, timing your 0 to 225 kilometers an hour runs. Fun fact here, you cannot get an aftermarket end can for this bike, even an official one, because the entire exhaust system has been optimized for performance and sound and Triumph doesn't want you messing with it. I'm sure in time it could get done, but not as of now. They seem very confident in what they have done with the standard can. Triumph wants you to think of this new bike as road focused and track ready, their own words. Basically, go mental on the track and then ride back home in relative comfort, which means ergonomics have also been updated. The handlebar is now wider, the bike is narrower overall, the foot pegs have been moved inward and the center of gravity is now lower, making the bike easier to control. Nonetheless, this is definitely a bike that you need to test ride before buying one. In the suspension and brakes department, only the best is good enough for Triumph's new naked flagship. Large Brembo style emmers provide the braking power and fully adjustable Olin suspension take care of uh, suspensioning. Rider aids and other technological gizmos are also part of the package. A brand new 5 inch full color TFT screen makes an appearance. It comes with Triumph's connectivity features which also include turn by turn navigation and GoPro control. The illuminated switch gear with the little joystick controls the five different riding modes, your cornering ABS, cruise control, etc. The new Speed Triple now comes standard with keyless ride, that is for the ignition and the fuel cap, and it can also be switched off if you're not um, used to the sort of luxury. Price wise, and this is the only downside of this refresh, the new Speed Triple will retail for $18,300 US dollars now, that being a $1,300 price hike. Availability will be late March in the US and late February in Europe. As I said in the beginning, not really my kind of bike, but I really enjoy when companies put a lot of effort and heart into updating their bikes, and I thought Triumph did just that with their new 1200 Speed Triple. 
No idea how it's gonna work out for them with the bigger price point, especially overseas and considering there is quite a bit of competition in this segment from BMW, Ducati, Yamaha and I'm sure others. But in the meantime, why don't you jump down in the comment section below and let us all know what you think of Triumph's new flagship Naked. Well, that's the show for today everyone. If you've enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up and if you think you've learned something new, consider subscribing or becoming one of our patrons to help us make more of these shows. Cheers, and I'll see you on the next one.